Hey squad, last uh, independent practice before your exit ticket, we're going to go over all three. What I do first is I look at my denominator in my mixed fraction, 1 and 5 sixths. The denominator is 6. I'm just going to put that down here. That's also going to tell me what fraction I should create to make one whole, which is 6 and 6 sixths, since we know that one whole has the same numerator and denominator. I'm only going to do that one time because 1 is my whole number in my mixed number. This tells me the number of times I write out 6 six. Now I'm going to bring down 5 6, and I'm just going to add my numerator. 6 plus 5 is 11. So this improper fraction is 11 6. That's equivalent to 1 and 5 6. For number 2, I have 1 half as my fraction for 3 and 1 halves. So that means my denominator and my improper fraction is going to be 2 as well. I know I need to make 3 fractions that are equivalent to one whole because I have three as my whole number in my mixed number. So I'm going to make two halves, two halves, and two halves three times. Then I'm going to use my one half and add that to the end. So it'll be two plus two plus two plus one, which is seven. This fraction, three and one halves, is equivalent to seven halves. For the last one, number three, that's 2 and 4 fifths. My denominator is 5, so my denominator and my improper fraction will be 5. That also tells me that since my whole number is 2, I need to make two fractions that are 5 over 5 and 5 over 5. Then I need to add on my fraction at the end, 4 fifths, and I'm going to add 5 plus 5 plus 4, which equals 14. So my fraction 2 and 4 fifths the improper fraction that's equivalent to that is 14 fifths. Shoot your shot on your exit ticket.